from VTV Channel 6 Studios in downtown Vernal, this is Local Point with your host, Chris Piner. Thanks for joining us. This program is brought to you by Ashley Regional Medical Center. Today's show features Vernal, Utah's Indian Summer Storytelling Festival. Joining me in the studio is Lori Olmstead from the Uinta Schools Foundation. Lori, it's always a pleasure to have you on here, and it's always a pleasure for me to be able to talk about our storytelling festival. Ditto here. You know that's what I love to talk about. I knew you'd say that, about. but I love it too. And yeah. I, I, uh, on behalf of everybody here who loves the festival, thank you for what you do and for what the whole foundation does, thank and you. all of the wonderful sponsors. I hope people are are, uh, are always saying thank you to these good people. Uh, well, we don't want to yeah. lose this festival ever. So <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you to all the sponsors and the foundation, everyone who works so hard like yourself. Well, it's my pleasure, and I feel the same way about our sponsors and the foundation. <laughs> Believe me, I don't want to see this festival end, and it would end without our great sponsors. As a matter of fact, Ashley Regional Medical Center is one of our sponsors every year. Ah, very good. As well as our as major, ours. yeah, one of our majors, our major sponsors this year are Vernal City and Maple City and Uinta County, the Rotary Club, Rocky Mountain Power, we could not you do this. You are good. I put yeah. you on the spot with the sponsors, and yeah. I just kind of threw it out there for all of them. But you got <laughs> oh, to actually name some of those good people. These Support are those people and yeah. those businesses. Yeah. And we're grateful that they're so willing to, to help uh, bring something as wonderful mm -hmm. as this festival Thank to you. our neck of the woods. Thank you. So let's talk about it. Okay. What is it? What's happening? We have got two <laughs> special days coming up, September 19th and 20th. That's our festival uh, time period this year. We're bringing out four fantastic storytellers. It's our fifth anniversary, uh, anniversary this year. It's five we are years five already. years old already. Woo. So we're bringing back Bill Lepp and Dubby Thomason, two of the absolute favorites we've ever brought These out. These two have been here before. They've been here before, and I know a lot of people, when they hear the names Bill Lepp <laughs> and Dubby Thomason, they're going to say, oh, Where's the tickets? Let me get going. Wonderful. And then we're bringing out two fantastic new voices. Motoko is a Japanese storyteller from back east, a new voice in storytelling. And then also David Novak, an absolutely awesome storyteller who's won the Circle of Excellence Award for storytelling. I think this community is going to be blown away with what really we're doing this year. Yeah. Yeah. Every the, year it's been... Yeah more than I expected, and I go with high expectations. Mm -hmm. Now that, that Circle of Excellence Award, is that something issued at the National Storytelling yes, Festival? Yes, is it's national, and it's kind of like winning the Emmy, the Oscar of Storytelling, and I mean, so. Quite uh, an honor. It's quite an honor. Uh, we've had uh, other winners, like last year, Donald Davis came out, so the caliber I is very, very him. high, very, very <laughs> high. And so all of our storytellers this year, you will find, uh, they each have a different voice, a different type of story, but they are the best for our fifth anniversary that we're. we're and at. I, you know, it took me a, a couple of years, even I think. I just in my mind, oh, I've got other things. And when I finally made it, mm -hmm. I said, I'm never going to miss this thing again. I love and to hear that. I regret it. I mean, I still regret those yeah. first years that I missed those tellers. It's not yeah. for children. It's not just for children. It's for children, but it's for everyone. I know. It's hard to get that point across. Matter of fact, I was just told just a couple weeks ago, don't even try to get that point across. The only way I can sometimes think to make it work is I just got back from the Tippinoga Storytelling Festival. That was last weekend. And at that festival, I heard great stories about World War II heroes. I heard great stories about a whole hour of ghost stories from Japan, oh. stories <laughs> of uh, finding God in very strange places and learning how to let go of your children. I mean, you don't know what you're going to hear at a storytelling festival, but as adults, I know we crave to hear those type of we stories. Do. And our and children love listening to it. them with us. You know, they love being there with us. You know. That is a very good point. I mm -hmm. saw that with my own children. Mm -hmm. that it, it's one thing to send them to a storytelling, but it's another thing to go with them That's and right. enjoy it together. Mm -hmm. I love that. And we yeah. can do it as a community, too. That's right. All right, we're going to talk a little bit more about the festival and some of the special things that you mm -hmm. have coming up. But uh, first, we're going to take a quick break and uh, hear this message from Ashley Regional Medical Center. Ashley Regional Medical Center supports the local community from the Uinta High sports programs to the Relay for Life and the Dinosaur Roundup Rodeo. We work together to make our community a healthy and beneficial place to live. Quality care with the personal touch. Ashley Regional Medical Center. 
Welcome back to Local Point. Joining me in the studio is Lori Olmsted, and we're talking about Vernal, Utah's Indian Summer Storytelling Festival. Now, when we last uh, uh, left for the break, we were talking a little bit about some of the tellers that are that are coming out, mm -hmm. and uh, and the and the sense of community that we have when we go and enjoy these tellers. Uh, we get the best of the best out here. We do. Matter of fact, we make sure that we always bring out the best, and we've been very fortunate with the tellers that we've had coming out. Um, when I uh, was telling someone from out of town about our festival, she heard right away who was coming out here this year, called her husband and said, we're going out to Vernal the 19th and the 20th of September because they're bringing out the best of the storytellers. Oh, that's wonderful. And this is someone who goes to festivals all the time. And the, so these are these, the tellers that, that we're getting here, thanks to you and the, and the foundation and the mm -hmm. great sponsors, are, the, are nationally known mm -hmm individuals, yes, people that, that come with a name, and we're getting them mm -hmm. right here, In year Vernal. after year. And the thing is, at a lot of festivals, you have to choose what tent you go to, which storyteller you're going to listen to. At our festival, we have one tent. We get them all. And you get to if hear you everything. Them, we get them all. Yeah, you get to hear every single story told at the festival, so you don't have to pick and choose. You get to hear it all. You can do yeah. that. Or you can <laughs> pick and choose, too. Is that right? No, I mean, there are have, events where you could uh, yes. yeah, come tonight, but I'm not going to But you don't have to miss anything. Sometimes in some yes. festivals, you, you have to miss You have to, miss you have something. to pick and choose. Yeah. So let's talk about the events. Okay. I mean, what's going on the, the, during the, the festival? The different events. Well, our public events start out Friday night with bedtime stories, and this is especially for children. And for bedtime stories, we'll be having our puppeteer that came out last year that everyone loved, and also Debbie Thomason will be performing at our bedtime stories. Does this come in pajamas? This is come in pajamas, bring uh, your stuffed animals, bring you know your little blankie with you, and we have a great time. And afterwards, we always have our peanut butter and jelly little social I afterwards. I thought I remember peanut yes. butter and jelly. So and we, where will that be? This year, that will be at Mazer Elementary. Okay. And it'll be at 6 o'clock on right. Friday night. And then right after that, we're doing something different on Friday. Friday night. In the past, we've done ghost tales very late at night. Yes. Well, this year with our lineup, we have such great, funny, funny storytellers <laughs> that we're doing a special laughing night on Friday night. And that will be at 8 p.m., a little bit earlier, and it will be over at the high school auditorium so we can accommodate uh -huh. more people. All right. uh, Bill Lepp, David Novak, and Modico will be performing at that, that event. Night. So that'll be fun. And then Saturday, we have our Tales in the Park which is all day long, 9 to 5, over at Naples City Park. All the storytellers will be there, uh, food, music going on, a puppet festival playing. festival atmosphere. We're going to have a juggle off uh, during lunchtime, so anybody who can juggle in the area, any of those students that did it you know, in school, come on come out. On in. We're going to have a <laughs> juggle off going on. And we're also this year going to have opportunities in between the performances for the community to come on out, whoever wants to sit around uh, a campfire ring and in between just share our stories just maybe something that maybe you've got something prepared that would be great if not it's like you're on the back porch if just, not you still have stories you have stories everyone and, has and stories. everyone's just going to sit there and kind of share them who wants to so we'll do a community. so you may prompt them and say sure. uh, tell us about a brush with greatness or, or a, do you remember what your grandmother's kitchen looks like yes. and that might start some memories oh, coming yes, out very good. so it's just going to be a good. time for us to get to be more of a community storytelling you know event right. going on and then Saturday evening, then we also have uh, a Grand Night of Tales. That's our yes, fi yes. Fi uh, finale, and everyone is there telling their stories, their favorite stories of our storytellers. All four will be there. The other thing we've got going this year that I think people need to know, because it's a great opportunity, if you purchase a ticket before September 19th, before the event starts, yes. We will be having a drawing for a $150 family fun package, which is two adult, two youth, 10 punch passes for the new, oh. you went to Recreation Center. They have come on as a sponsor for us with this. Thank you, thank you. That's right, very much so. <laughs> and this is wonderful. If you haven't been over to our new rec center, I mean, it is terrific. A great treat. Yes, so and that's a special promotion. event. And let's see, the other promotion is if you come early on Saturday, you uh, also get uh, an early bird drawing, including a $100 gift certificate to uh, Basin Sports. So, ah. I mean, 
There um, are reasons to get your tickets early that's and right. to come and participate. Now, quickly, uh, uh -huh. we're, we're actually out of time. Yeah. But how, how much are the tickets and where, where do we get them? Okay, the tickets start at $4 for an individual event. They go up to uh, $50 for, you know, a family pass. So please, you know, check the prices out. But you right. can get them at Bitter Creek Books. Uh, Davis Jubilee or over at the UNO School District uh, Foundation. And I may be wrong, it may be $60 for a family pass, but that's the best buy. It's everything for a family of four. So Now this, yeah. is, a, this is a great opportunity for the community to get together, enjoy some great storytellers, mm -hmm. and I'm still listening. I, I bought books and there's all mm -hmm. the little stores and all kinds of things to do. Yeah. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Thanks, Chris. And thank you, and thank you for watching us here on Local Point. For more information on this program, you can visit our website, www.vernal.tv. Please join us next time.